Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome, welcome. Hello everyone. Virgo, what's going on? How are you guys doing? How's your love drama saga? Um, so if you're new to my channel, please do hit like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy my readings. And to everyone who has been here, thank you so much for your support. Um, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. Just click on that link. That'll take you straight to my booking site. That is the only way to get readings from me. I'll never ask or solicit you in the comments for readings. All right, Virgo. Let's see what is going on. Please keep in mind that these are general love readings, so they may or may not resonate. Look at this. King of Swords popping out. Hmm flipped right out. Some of you might be connecting with Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay. Um, yes, general readings. Oh, wow. Page of Swords and the Sun. Hmm. Leo energy. Eight of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. Oh, no, Nine of Swords and the Ten of Cups, Five of Pentacles, and Justice, bottom of the deck, the Tower, wow, something's coming crashing down at this time, um, major upheaval and change, doesn't always have to mean it's a bad thing, but a major shift, something unexpected occurring. This is Scorpio energy. Did I say there's Libra and Libra here? Um, so yeah, something, a fallout, a big fallout. Wow. Oh my goodness. The hangman, Piscean energy. Somebody's having a massive wake up call. Is it you? It could be you, Virgo, or someone else that you're connecting with. Massive wake up call. This is like spirit saying, after everything is broken down, major shift, big change happening here. If somebody, it's like the light comes in. Somebody's, uh, uh, it's like an awakening is happening here. Okay, King of Pentacles is here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. For some of you, it's you. For some of you, you're just moving on here. Going after your ninth cup. Look at that cup up there in the sky. Okay, taking a retreat or break now for others you know there was something here um you might have been connecting with someone who just was living in la la land up in fantasy land had a lot of options could never make a decision or uh just didn't choose you um you might have ghosted someone and this person is looking for you right now they're on this journey trying to figure out where you are where you've been <clears throat> what you're doing Okay, a lot of stalker energy here with the Page of Cups. But then I see someone here wants to come in. All right. And I'm going to do the singles portion after this reading. So I feel like somebody here has made a decision. They've had a wake-up call about your connection. I know it sounds very cliche to say, but, you know, the cards don't lie. And that's what I'm picking up here. Um, this person comes in. doesn't have to be a Virgo Taurus or Capricorn. Mostly it's a Taurus, but it feels to me like whoever this person is, they're very stable. They're coming in very stable, financially stable, grounded. They know what they want. They know what they're doing. They, they've made a decision. Um, mostly like it's not a decision that they've been sitting and thinking about you know where they're like hmm who should I choose or anything like that it, it's more so like the tower came in and they've come to understand like they know this person knows now that you two are meant for each other's soulmate energy okay this is a soulmate connection beautiful um this could be somebody new or you know it could be someone let's see it's interesting um i don't have any reconciliation cards here so we'll have to really see how that plays out uh, but this could be somebody you're connecting with or currently 
talking to or maybe someone you've met. Let's take a look and see what your love messages are here. Okay, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Keep an open mind. Wow, a Virgo. Passion. Hmm. You know what? Sometimes I say I'm going to do the singles, but you know what? This does not look like a past situation to me. This looks like either some of you had a casual connection with this person or um, you were just friends and this person is seeing here that they actually want more than just friendship with you, want to be more than friends. Okay, so let's take a look. So, of course, the King of Swords is here, uh, very logical, not really communicating too, too much, but very choice with their words. So whatever this person, when they speak, they may not speak a lot, but what they say is direct and to the point. Okay, very strategic type of a person. And with this page of swords, I feel like this person, you're going to be getting a message from them and straight to the point as in, you make me happy or I see joy and positivity. I see that something good can happen to this, right? Positive thinking and faith. This person is staying very optimistic about you. Um, they're quite interested in you so much so they're very curious. Uh, it looks like they want to know everything they possibly can about you. Now, some of you may have just decided that either a Taurus or an Earth sign or someone in your past, um, maybe they ghosted you and decided to just be friends and this person left the connection or moved on and now is having like a tower moment okay and is kind of like waking up to what they just lost that perhaps they should have been they want more than friends now so we have two kings here so there's two people so the overall message that i'm getting in this connection this reading <laughs> is that there is a past person <clears throat> that is waking up to the fact that, th that they actually want to come into union with you. They want something more. Maybe they didn't in the past, but it feels like they do. That's the overall message. But now I just feel, you know, very much like this is new energy happening here. So you may be meeting somebody new or somebody's kind of watching you. Maybe you're communicating on social media. They're watching you. They're very curious about you. They're very interested in you. They're optimistic um, that something good can happen between the two of you. Let me just get a clarifier for, let's see, the King of Swords. You know, I'm going to have to tell you guys. This is strange to me. I just noticed this. Let me point this out. Because I don't think I've ever seen this before. There's a lion right here. A lion's face. And then there's a lion here. For some of you, this is the same person, a Leo. For those involved with the Leo, this is the Leo who in the past wasn't sure and now seems to be coming through that this they do want something with you. They are curious about you, want to know where you're at. Okay, King of Swords, Seven of Wands. Yeah, they're defensive. They're in battle mode. <laughs> the Sun. Okay, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this person has grand, this, they have ideas about you. Like they're really, there's going to be a lot of communication from this person. They're truly, I, I just heard somebody sending money through Venmo or PayPal. This person sending it to you. <laughs> money, like sending money through a cash app of some sort. I also heard um, leaving you a tip if you work in the 
restaurant business, this person leaving, you might meet them while you're at work or um, restaurant or hospitality, uh, wherever there's tips left where you might receive tips. This person um, <laughs> leaving you <clears throat> a tip, but their intention is because um, they're interested romantically in you. Huh. Okay. Wait a minute. Now, for some of you, this person, I'm picking up, um, they do some kind of battle or fighting. I don't know what that, it could be like a sport. Maybe they work in some kind of an arena, you know, or they, you know, do some the physical activity, some type of fighting or battling um, um, defense, defense. They play defense maybe in sports or something. Let's take a look at this page of swords. Oh, gosh. Oh, very, very curious about you. Very. They want to add something. They want to put some, drop some coins in your piggy bank, Virgo. <laughs> um, hmm, hold on a second now. Um, for some of you, you may be like in a restaurant or a bar or something and you see this person tipping somebody. But I'm just getting this famous vibe or someone who is pretty much like out there, you know, in the public eye. Okay, and they are definitely seeking, oh gosh, now the King of Cups is back again, and I wasn't clarifying anything. So you've got three kings on the table here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Oh, gosh. Let's see. Let's take a look. The Eight of Pentacles is here. This person might actually manage someone who... Um, like in the entertainment business, they might manage, you know, that person. Let me see. It's interesting how keeping up a mind, stay optimistic about your love life are both here. Let's take a look at this Eight of Pentacles. For some of you, you might work with this person. They build, they create, they craft. They're very consistent. Like th this person is kind of behind the scenes, down in the basement. <laughs> Maybe they, they might be a pizza maker. They might make pizza or bread, like in a brick oven. There's like, or maybe they don't, but I'm just picking up like pizza or bread or in a like a brick oven kind of thing. Um, that maybe they are like a chef or uh, a cook. Let's see here. Are they, okay, okay, hmm, there's some strange messages coming through here, the world is here, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, and Scorpio, oh, for some of you, um, yeah, I kind of feel like this is a totally, like, it really feels like new, it feels like a new person, it's definitely a soulmate. You're definitely going to be connecting with a soulmate. Um, the world is like some type of communication. This person travels the world for work is what I hear. Okay. Or they do some type of an online business. Let's see. Ten of Wands. Um, okay. Okay. That's interesting. Eight of Swords on the Ten of Wands. This person, okay, they are, I'm picking up this energy of um, physically drained due to um, mental struggles at this time. Having a hard time sleeping. There's a lot of stress. What is this stress about? They worry. This person's a worrier. They worry about things. Oh, wow. Okay. So if this person is like some kind of an athlete or 
they do some type of um, physical activity of some sort. They have a, a great fear, a worry about their health, like as if they, they, they have some kind of job or they do some kind of maybe hobby or something they make money for where it could be um, it could be fatal like one blow one strike could be fatal it's very strange this person is kind of in this position here where they it feels like they don't want to do this anymore because maybe they're getting older or um, and yes it could be a female females do have uh, professions that can be dangerous so it could be someone who's like a police officer or they work like a firefighter or any other kind of job or profession that could be a bit um, you know dangerous it could have danger to it I feel like this person is pulling back from that and working in a position where they're not out in front now. It feels like they're kind of like more like behind the scenes from the administrative side or the financial side, that kind of thing. It's very strange. And they're in this position where they, I feel like they're thinking about, it's weird sometimes how these readings go. Uh, they're in this position now where they're thinking about retiring and doing something else. Okay, so they're definitely staying open-minded about that, which is very strange. But I feel like, you know, because it feels like, uh, for those of you who this is new, you really, I'm not going to really, I don't feel like a history. I'm not going to talk about some kind of a history because it feels like you may just meet them somewhere at a venue of some sort. All right. Um, and then for those of you who this is someone that you were just friends with or there was you had an interest in i feel like this person is like i said waking up to this connection and really interested in in actually taking your relationship from what it used to be to what it could be And again, some of the some of the information that I'm giving you about this person still applies. So it does kind of feel like this person made a lot of money doing what they were doing before. I feel more so now they're in communications. They're they're now they're they've switched their profession to like more communications or behind the scenes because I'm seeing fire here. So I, I do feel like this person is um, getting out of some kind of profession of some sort where uh, it could have been very dangerous. It's very odd. Okay, so what's falling down here at the bottom? We have the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Because this is a card of love and support, family support. It's a marriage card. It's joy. It's happiness. Three of Wands. So the overall message I'm getting, whether it's a past person or somebody new, this person is like on the brink of changing their life. Something has happened a major life change, maybe a midlife crisis, depending on how old they are, but it, you know, male or female, it's like a major life change. This person could not accommodate some type of a relationship with you due to, um, you know, the eight of swords due to restrictions in their profession, or, you know, again, I'll say incarceration, um, or something that was holding them back these restrictions were a very heavy load and it just feels like to me major change is happening here and they're a bit stressed about it because they feel like you know it, it just feels like because they're going through this major change in their life um even though the change is for the better and it's good for them and it's for the better it's still a bit nerve-wracking because whatever they've done or whatever they were doing before, they've done that for a very long time. Why is this King of Cups here? 
Let's get a card. Let's get a little read here on this King of Cups. Very deep emotions, this person. <laughs> the lovers. Okay. It's interesting because the one reading that I did when we had three kings, we had the king of wands and we didn't have the king of pentacles. Now we have the king of pentacles and not the king of wands thus far. So again, this is going to turn out the, in a very interesting way. Um, so if you were connecting with a water sign, this water sign is crazy in love with you. Okay. This person is crazy in love with you. All of the... Um, description that I gave you relates to each one of these kings but it's just up to you I guess to figure out who's who but the lovers is Gemini energy so this king of cups you are that's a twin flame connection there okay let's take a look here yeah you're going to get some communication from a king of cups um, about a decision being made for you to like you know Either a decision about the connection, the relationship. Um, this person's very smitten with you, um, has like a crush on you kind of a thing. There will be definitely some message or text or something coming through by this person um, that they wish to like it's excitement it feels like enthusiasm and excitement about this decision they're making about you and them this king of cups yeah here's the sun okay that's leo energy very positive happy happy joy joy with that king of cups so you're getting communication from cancer scorpio pisces now the king of pentacles like i said is kind of having a wake-up call about your relationship it wants to be more than friends wishes to be more than friends <clears throat> is walking away from that non-committal energy and this king of swords this feels like somebody who um is the main focus of the reading the uh, libra gemini aquarius this person is getting ready to retire <laughs> and is really curious about you very interested in you so you've virgo what is going on with you guys you've got like suitors out the wazoo it seems like so many people interested in you now you may know who they are you may not these could be new people coming in for you as well so you're just gonna have to wait and see how that plays out so let's take a look the ten of cups with the three of wands this kind of feels to me like this person It feels like it's quite open, um, this King of Swords, to have, uh, to, to settle down. They're looking for someone who is emotionally supportive and someone who is good with children. Let's see here. You know what, you guys, I'm going to start, I'm going to start doing readings where maybe I'll change it up or maybe I'll just do a test. Um, where I'll put each king and queen and then I'll do a reading for each one for your person. What do you think about that? Maybe I'll just do a test and uh, just like a little once a month thing to see how that comes up, to see what shows up there. I bet that would be really fun. Um, okay, so the five of pentacles, ten of wands again. Okay, this person, I, I'm telling you, this king of swords person so the king of swords is someone who like i said is very tr strategic and very precise and careful with their words when they speak um i feel like this king of swords male or female either direction is definitely on the brink here they are they're on a massive change in their life um and it could be all kings. I'm just pointing this out right now, okay? I know this sounds confusing, but sometimes the readings come up and then you get all of these court cards and then it's like, boom, what is happening? So then they take me off on like, it's like a, like tree roots, you know? We go in all different directions here. So I'm trying to stay with the, 
the theme here. Whomever your person is, they're definitely coming into this position where they're taking a financial hit, they're working harder, they're changing their profession. Um, this person is just completely like exhausted and at the end of that career, they just don't, or maybe they were a career criminal, who knows, but there's a major shift and wake up call happening for this person. The hanged man, I wouldn't be surprised if judgment shows up as well. So I feel like this person, they're looking for their passion and part of that passion is you. You are part of their passion, Virgo. You know, they truly do. Like, whoever it is, they, it could be the one person showing up with all the different elements here, trying to get, they're financially stable, but making a shift in their life, professional shift, and having to restart all over again. They might have a little bit of money left aside, um, but they're quite worried about not having enough money or going broke or not being able to afford things. I don't feel like this person is looking for you to step in and pay for everything. I don't feel that. They feel very strong-minded to me and very passionate about them their their career and their and their work, professional life and what they like to do and what they want to do. Um Okay, justice is here. So for some of you, if this person was dealing with the courts or any criminal behavior, um, I feel like if they are going to be released, they will be, okay? They might be struggle, struggling with that. And then for others, this person, okay, they just said um, they were a lawyer and they're getting out of that. That's for somebody. They were a lawyer um, or they're, move, they're moving up to become a judge is what I heard. Moving up to become a judge. Or moving from um, a police or fire, EMT, up to like sergeant, chief of police, or um, I don't know what the the markings are or the the status for fire for um firefighter but moving up the ranks okay moving up the ranks in their position as well so taking maybe of a more of administrative thing i do not know why these messages are coming out here they're so bizarre but it's like it feels mostly like ready to settle ready to like settle down and to like they they're getting a very good professional position and are kind of will be able to afford themselves they're worried and struggling about this of course but ready to settle down into a marriage a committed long term and maybe even have children for some let's take a look at justice here yeah nine of cups so their wishes they're try this person is really on um very focused on their profession and you know the way the world has been over the past year and a half a lot of people have been struggling financially and trying to get themselves in a really good place a lot of people have switched careers or started working from home you know so i feel like whoever your person was or is or somebody new coming in, there's an energy here of like major shift and transformation happening in this person's life, but they want you to be a part of it. This change and this shift, like they want you in their life. To, it feels like a settling down energy here. Um, let's see, let me get a couple more clarifiers. Let's take a look at the world okay yeah well they're mostly this person has had like a lot of heartbreak in their life people have cheated on them or this person has been very cavalier in their relation romantic relationships in the past i feel like this person is like getting serious now um pulling away from that energy and is ready to make major changes in their life not only professionally but romantically 
Let's take a look at the death card. Oh, look, the soulmate. The soulmate, and it's sitting right next to the soulmate, and that's twice. Okay, so definitely looking for a lover. I need a lover that won't drive me crazy. <laughs> They might have been in a relationship or connected with someone who just made them nuts, you know, made, or made them feel crazy. Um, they're looking for definitely the soulmate, the other half. And I feel like they may be asking you to get together or um, have a date or paying for something. Or, or you may notice some of you that after, maybe you'll go Dutch and then after you... Um, after the meal is over, when the person goes to pay, either they pay the whole thing or they leave a very large, generous tip. And that kind of strikes you in a way, whether it's male or female, it doesn't matter. They leave a very large tip or they offer to pay the, you know, the whole tip or they offer to give money for the dinner. You know, it's like um, someone who is not greedy or um, expects you to take care of everything or is kind of like a penny pincher all right let me see if i get other messages here before i move on because this kind of feels like a mix between someone that you like it's 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 old and new even though there's no reconciliation i feel it's mostly because you and your person they're telling me aren't really separated i don't know if that makes any sense or in their mind you're not split apart you're just kind of taking a break there's like some kind of a break okay let me see here I'm definitely feeling I want to be more than friends. I'm looking for more than just friends. I'm looking for more than friendship. Let me get a look here and see what the love messages are. Because I'm not really picking anything up else. Picking up anything else in regards to this. I just know that this person wants to try to make you happy. Um, wants to give you gifts or give you things and share the wealth with you. Um, share their life with you. Build something together. Because they see you as someone who's a very hard worker. And they're very attracted to that. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So if you've been involved with this person before... You're going to see them in a new light. New light. It's not what you expect. There's, things will be different about them. And if this is somebody new, this is not someone you would normally um, find yourself dating or being interested in. I'm just feeling like someone who is much, much older. You know, this is someone who is, it feels like late 40s, early 50s, going through a major uh, maybe even older than that, going through a major life change. They may have had a breakup or a divorce and weren't ready to get involved heavily, but I see a major shift here. It feels like they had to get their, their um, financial situation settled, okay, for them. Because it feels like this person does not want to or did not want to um, depend on you financially. They wanted to take they want to take care of things themselves. Doesn't mean they don't love you. I feel like there is a very strong, deep connection here or there will be. Okay, retreat. <clears throat> Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. All right, Virgo, I feel like that's for you. And that really is just a strong message right now. Uh, some of you might be taking time by yourselves at this time. You might be in nature. Maybe you're hiking or camping or um, spending time by a lake or the ocean, a beach. 
traveling in the desert, just doing your own thing right now. Um, just doing your own thing. Okay, obstacles. Unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. These feel like your messages, Virgo. And this feels to me like um, you're taking some time out in your life right now just to get some healing. Um, some things that have triggered you in the past may be triggering you now. You want to make sure that anybody new that comes into your life, you're not going to get those same triggers. You want to make sure that anything that happens in a new relationship, because there's always some type of trigger, that um, you won't be like, you want to be prepared and ready. It's such a Virgo thing to do. <laughs> you want to be prepared and ready before you embark on a new relationship or take a friendship to the next level with someone or, you know, try to make something work here with your person. Let's see here. What else? Here and now. Your true love is already a part of your life. Okay, so for some of you, you're already connecting with this person. You're still connecting with them. And... Uh, maybe you're not communicating right now. Some of you might be, and some of you might not. Either way, this person is your true love. Okay, um, for those of you who are who have someone, and you are um, like they're always on your mind, <clears throat> and that's why I was saying earlier. For some of you, I don't feel like there's reconciliation because I don't feel like you've really disconnected or at least in that, this person's mind, um, you're just taking a time out. You're just taking a break. You're both retreating at this time to work on other things or deal with other things in your lives. Okay, release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. Okay. Balance. One person is giving too much in this relationship. I have no idea who that's for. Um, this could be some of you might be giving too much thought to a person or a particular relationship at this time. There's a lot of um, that's triggering unhealed wounds, even though this person, you, you know, they are your true love. You're taking time to retreat and release, which would be really good. Um, I feel like these are mostly your messages and I do feel like you're giving too much attention and time and you come to terms with that. You've realized that too obsessed over the relationship or too many tarot card readings about a particular person. And some of you are like, okay, this is going to be the last one. I'm taking a week off <laughs> just to kind of get like to recharge. Finances, financial challenges are affecting this connection. And I was feeling that strongly, like there's a financial aspect, professional aspect to this connection here. And for you, um, you might be trying to, you know, for yourself, put more coins in your piggy bank, you know, at this time, getting yourself financially stable yourself. Okay, well, marriage, marriage card here. This relationship is moving toward a sacred union. Okay, so for some of you, this is just one person, and this is the direction it is going. The person that, you, you know, you already have a true love relationship with, or it's a friendship moving up to um, a higher level of commitment. Um, and for others... You've got a friend who wants to be with you. You've got um, a water sign who you may have a twin flame connection with that wants to come into marriage or sacred union with you. And then you've got this other person who um, is kind of like, it feels newish, feels newish. who is going through a major change professionally and is, is getting ready to settle down or going through some kind of midlife crisis. I'm not going to pull the cards. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I am. I'm going to pull, let's look at this King of Pentacles. Okay, King of Pentacles. I lost myself for a little while. Okay, so this person might have been missing in action for a little while. Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. Let's look at this King of Cups. You are the best thing in my life. And I feel like this person feels like you were and you still are. 
And let's take a look at this King of Swords. I'm starting to understand our connection. Hmm. That's interesting because that sounds like you have a history with this person. It's 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 weird when you get a lot of different court cards because then you've got all I know, Virgo, like the overall message here. Okay. I see you and I see you trying to figure out what you want to do with your life as far as romance goes, as far as partnership goes. And you have three, uh, you have three suitors, okay, um, either coming in or you're currently connecting with at this time. Someone's crazy in love with you. Someone was just a friend and there's a possibility they want to move things up you know, level it up, the relationship, and then somebody new. Okay, so there's a lot of different stuff, or it's all one person with the same storyline, okay? Which, basically, to summarize, the the reading where it's all one person is that you guys, this person was non-committal, and they were uh, just kind of being casual, a relationship of some sort and they're having a wake-up call realizing that they are in love with you and they want to communicate with you and tell you that they want to be with you and at this time they're making a huge professional career change in their life at this time so that they can give more to the relationship okay Phew. i guess it's going to go on a little bit longer <laughs> all right let's see your advice here virgo because I definitely feel like, um, you know, that's what you're looking for. Someone to, I don't like to say settle down. I actually like to say settle up with. Because settle down means, it kind of makes me feel like, no, oh, it's the best I can do. I'll just have to settle for this. I like more like settle up. <laughs> Virgos don't settle back or settle down. They settle up. <laughs> All right, let's see. What is Virgo's advice? The chariot, oh wow. Public recognition, that's what this card is, I'm telling you. You're gonna be connecting with someone who's like a public figure or has public recognition, or it's you, okay? Your advice, um, your advice is to um, try to manage, try to be successful in balancing all of your priorities at this time in your life, be determined, with willpower um, to make changes in your life, okay? There are rewards that will be coming to you as well. This is cancer energy. Um, but I'm definitely seeing travel. You may need to travel or take a trip. Um, but it feels mostly like your advice is to plot your coordinates, get your GPS set, and then go take a road trip or go somewhere or travel or do something at this time. It could be part of the retreat. Like I said, maybe you're off on some kind of exp expedition or you're exploring in your life at this time. But this is like that your life is about to change. Your life is about to change in a massive way. Like from this point going forward. Now, I know tomorrow it may be a different message, but take this as it resonates for you because every day there's a different message. Oh, wow. Here's the emperor. How about that? So we finally have a fire sign, Aries energy here. Logic and organization will increase your success. Take charge of your life. Accept a leadership role, structure and discipline. This is a father figure. Some of you might be getting recognition for a job well done with your children. Okay. Um, you, some of you have a father figure watching over you at this time some of you have an emperor type person coming in um more as an energy where this person represents someone who's uh, respected well respected um, well known is a leader and there's definite this person i i'm like i said i was picking up public figure could be um politics Law could be entertainment. Um, yeah, they're giving me 
politics, law, and entertainment. <clears throat> Oh, here's the Queen of Fire. Okay, I said to you guys, we didn't have the King of Wands. We didn't have the Wands showing up. And just remember, you can swap out these Kings for Queens. So the Queen of Wands here, this is your vice. This feels like you right now. Okay, like I said, somebody can be on the cusp of Leo Virgo, but some of you might be the dragon, the sign of the dragon, or a horse. Um... Chinese sign, dragon or horse. So I'm feeling here, you're brilliant, Virgo. Talented, you're independent. A bit controlling at times, but more so maybe controlling, you're, you're better at controlling yourself than other people, but anything you try to help people with, they take it as controlling, but that's not what you're trying to do. You just know better. <laughs> and you can see things very clearly. Um, there's nothing you can't do, though, Virgo. Believe in yourself. Never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true. Um, but you need to find balance between your career and your personal life. I feel like that's really important for you because a lot of you are taking charge of your life and making change. And I just see so much success surrounding you in every area of your life, in romance, you know, in love, in your career, your profession, um, the things that you are doing. Um, you're just taking on a very strong leadership role in your life for yourself. Not, I don't see you... Um, gathering up an army of people and you know leading them off into battle i see you more like being a leader in your own life for yourself taking on that the confidence i feel like your confidence will be coming back very strongly um and you'll be able to make these big changes and some of you already have that happening right now in your life some of you are making decisions you're you're moving you're relocating you're um taking the lead in what you want to do at your life a lot of you've taken some time out to figure that out you know and you, i just see you very being very self-focused at this time which is great for you because a lot of you needed to do that because i feel like there may have been too much thinking about another person or too much focus on your love life. And, you know, the more you, you focus on what you don't have, the more you don't have it. And I feel like you're replacing, if you've been in a connection with someone that just wasn't working out or you just felt like it wasn't coming the way you wanted it to, I see a lot of you are more, fo more focusing on yourself. Like, okay, but wait. What can I do? I just heard that saying, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference, right? So that's what I was saying about the controlling thing. You are taking control of your life. You're not controlling other people. You're looking in front of you and saying, okay, what can I make better in my life? You know, and, and like, I don't know what's going on here. Mercury retrograde is definitely still playing out. And I feel like a lot of you do have, um, you're getting communication and messages from people that you are maybe coming out of the, the woodwork whom you possibly haven't heard from in a while. You know, I feel like somebody here might have just went missing in action temporarily but i don't feel like they were gone fully all right let's get into the charms and for some of you there's an aries coming in here okay i don't know okay well spirit gave us a palm tree okay maybe you live in an area where there's palm trees all right or you um you're going somewhere where there's palm trees taking a vacation you're retreating going on a retreat a tropical area or you live in a tropical area oh blessed this says blessed wow you know it's so weird i saw this um i was looking at outdoor patio furniture somebody had and they had a sign <clears throat> It was tall wooden sign with the words blessed. 
right down, like sitting there. It wasn't for sale or anything. It was just um, the words blessed. <laughs> I was like, that's right. That's damn right. So you're blessed. Okay, here's a little kitty cat. All right. Are you sitting with your kitty cat right now? Are you petting your cat? Listening to this reading? Some of you, maybe. Or you have a kitty who is like your best snuggly friend. And when you need that love and you need that affection, you, you, a lot of you just hug your kitty. <laughs> or you just pet your kitty and she purrs, she likes it, or he. And I don't know, you're, for some of you, your cat is very important. Or some of you are thinking about getting a kitten or, or adopting a cat. Okay. We also have um, the hum, Hamsa. Okay. There's protection here. Protection. You're, you're very widely protected. Did I say, did I say something like somebody's watching over you? Did I say that? I felt that. I just, or that message just came in. You have someone, like a guardian angel, or someone is watching over you. Did I say that? I can't remember. Somebody's watching over you, protecting you right now. Oh, what's this? This fell out too. Oh, I'm just seeing neon, blue neon light. There's a blue, blue neon lights. Something to do with blue neon lights. You know, when these, when I give you these charm messages, um, it's not always predictive. It can just be that to clarify that this reading is for you. Maybe you see blue neon lights, or you're looking for them for business. And for some of you. It just feels very strong, like a blue neon light. And there's the camera back again. <laughs> it's interesting that I think that's come up like three times so far this week. So again, somebody might be a photographer. Okay. Are you taking pictures out in nature at some retreat? You're updating your Instagram for your business or someone is. Oh, and I just, I just heard, uh, uh, I just heard the word shoot, shoot. I don't know what that's connected to, shoot. I know there's like point and shoot. Ooh, I just got a weird vibe by that, point and shoot. I don't know, maybe somebody's like, are you guys, do you like go to a gun range or something? Are you um, somewhere where you live? You have, do you have open carry or concealed carry? I'm not predicting anything negative, so don't worry about that. And I'm not seeing that. There might have been something, maybe you were connected with someone who was involved in some kind of a shooting um, or something. That's, I don't like to really go down that road, so I'm just going to leave that there for you. Um, but this feels more like point and shoot with a camera, okay? Oh, okay, and they just gave me an image. This is so strange. Um, they just gave me an image of a clown with a flower on the lapel um, that squirts water. <laughs> squirts water, a clown with a flower on its jacket that squirts water. Okay, that's so bizarre. All right, you guys, <laughs> I'm going to leave your reading there. Um, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. Um, I am saying goodbye right now. And if you want to join me every Friday evening from 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can get a $20 one card mini reading from me. You just show up in the chat, pay, pay with Super Chat. Um, once you pop in, the moderators will be in there and they'll tell you what to do. Just pay with Super Chat with your question included. And then I'll pull a card for you. And you can ask as many questions as you want. Like, it's 20 for each question. Um, you can pay like 
60 and I'll pull three cards and give you like a little more of an in-depth reading there but we try to just it goes quick so I try to just give you like one card reading but that's every Friday from 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so make sure you check your time zone and know what time to be here I will have an upcoming live stream posted prior to that so if you click the notification bell and make sure you have that set in your phone then you will know when I'm going live okay so make sure you have that set all right Virgo so I'm going to leave your reading there I hope this was interesting it was a little bit confusing um well maybe not for all of you but for me I was just getting multiple messages at once so have a wonderful evening and I will speak to you or a wonderful day and I'll speak to you all later all right take care bye